Let me ask you about the famine of the 30s. Yeah. Do you think- in the Ukraine? In the Ukraine. Oh yeah. Fun, fun, fun. Similar, a lot of the things you mentioned in the last few sentences kind of echo to that part of human history. The hole do, in the door. Do you- No one knows about. <laughs> well, now I've just spent four weeks in Ukraine. Oh yeah. There's different parts of the world that still, even if they don't know, they know. Yeah, right. <laughs> they feel history is runs in the blood. The Dutch knew. In some sense, they had a famine at the end of World War II, and part of the reason the Dutch farmers are so unbelievably efficient and productive is that the Dutch swore at the end of World War II that that was not going to happen again. And then they had to scrape land out of the ocean, because Holland, that's quite a country. It shouldn't even exist. The fact that it's the world's number two exporter, you know that it's the world's number two exporter of agricultural products, Holland. It's like, I don't think it's as big as Massachusetts. It's this little tiny place. It shouldn't even exist. And they want to put, here's the, here's the plan. Let's put 30% of the farmers out of business. Well, the broader ecosystem of agricultural production in Holland is 6% of their GDP. Now, these centralizing politicians think, tell me if I'm stupid about this. Take an industry. You knock it back by fiat by 30%. Now, it runs on like a 3% profit margin. Now, you're going to kill 30% of it. How are you not going to bring the whole thing down, the whole farming ecosystem down? How are you not going to impoverish the transport systems? How are you not going to demolish the grocery stores? You can't take something like that and pare it back by fiat by 30% and not kill it. I, I can't see how you can do that. I mean, look what we did with the COVID lockdowns. We broke the supply chains. Have you tried buying something lately? You can't, and wait, and aren't the Chinese threatening Taiwan at the moment? What are we going to do without chips? So I don't know what these people are thinking. And then I think, okay, what are they thinking? Well, the Deloitte people are thinking, aren't we smart? And shouldn't we be hired by our corporate employers? It's like, okay, too bad about the poor. Um, what are the uh, environmentalists thinking? We love the planet. It's like, do you? We love the poor. Do you? Okay, let's pit the planet against the poor. Who wins? The planet. Okay, you don't love the poor that much. Do you love the planet? Or do you hate capitalism? Let's pit those two things against each other. Oh, well, it turns out we actually hate capitalism. How can we tell? Because you're willing to break it. And you know what's going to happen. So what's going to happen in Sri Lanka with these 20 million people who now have nothing to eat? Are they going to eat all the animals? Are they going to burn all the firewood? They're stockpiling firewood in Germany. It's like, so is your environmental globalist utopia going to kill the poor and destroy the planet? And that's okay, because we'll wipe out capitalism. It's like, okay. Yeah, the, the dragon and the fear of the dragon drives ideologies, some of which can build a better world, some of which can destroy that world. 